They go by the name of Tokyo Hotel, and it's pretty crazy in here. Gentlemen, Bill and Tom, come on in. They had the highest debut in Canadian history on the charts of any German band, so great to have you here. Bro, thanks for coming down again, man. Hi, Tom, what's going on? How you guys doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah? How's yeah. it? I know you had some problems with your vocal cords. How you feeling? Is everything all right now? Everything's all right, yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it, um, it's five years... Five, five weeks ago. Okay. Five, five weeks ago, I had the surgery. And now everything is good, yeah. It was 10 days not allowed to speak. At all, really? Yeah, it was a relaxing time for me. Yeah. I had you know what's crazy? To discuss. You know what's crazy? There's other artists in the past have had a similar injury, like Celine Dion, for example, our biggest Canadian export, as we say. Can you guys hear me all right? I, I didn't, I didn't get, it. get it. It's so loud. It's okay. What I, what I meant to say is we have one of your biggest fans over here, and she has a gift for you for your throat. Although you're all healed up. Jamie, come in here very quickly. Jamie, come in here. She had a gift for you that she's been waiting to give you for quite some time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's hope there's not a bomb or something in the box, though. You want to open some it up presents. right now? Some you presents. You want to open it right now? I don't know what it... Okay, while you open it, I'll continue talking here. Now, Maybe some... I, got a, I got a room, room card or a room key. A room key. <laughs> a room key. <laughs> I'm sure you've gotten a few of those over your time. Now, sometimes, um, you know, when you're on the road and whatnot, you have an injury. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, sometimes you're on the road and you have an injury. It can be lonely because usually it's your parents, your mom and dad, you know, kind of help you through things. Is it comforting to have your brother on the road with you when times like that happen? It was it was so helpful to have Tom on my side. It was really, really good because he I was... I take care of him. Yeah. It's always like, oh, I'm yeah. big brother and... No, he had to care. talk for me because he know what I'm thinking. And so, yeah, he was talking for me. Do you feel so like that? that, being twins, do you really feel like you usually know what each other are thinking? Yes, you know, it's, it's something like a, you know, third, third floor... floor thing. <laughs> Thing, you know, it's, yeah. it's a really strong connection. Okay, well, let's check it out right now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, <laughs> don't worry, we're coming. You're messing up my interview. <laughs> okay, right now, we're gonna test the dynamics, so to speak, or um, of your relationship. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you guys a series of questions about your relationship. When was the last time you guys fought? The last time in, uh, in a hotel room, I think. Last then, uh, last time we fight. Fight the last time. I don't know. I, I think it I was. Won. A, yeah, you, you won the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. A hotel room. But why? I don't know why. Oh, well, I, I guess it was with a chair and with the table. Yeah, I hit him with a with a table. With a table. Yeah. Me? And then he yeah. picked up the chair and hit you back with the chair. Because I got a girl. You won it. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, that was my next question. Who gets more girls? More girls. I, I think. I think Bill has. Has a lot of you know opportunities, but he you know he don't get the chances. So I I got my girl. You know I I'm, I'm not the one at stand okay. guy. I'm I'm guy. I'm really. So you're a good opener and you're a better closer is what you're essentially saying. I didn't get it. Sorry. <laughs> you're a good opener and he's a good closer. That's essentially what you're saying. Yeah yeah. Okay. Kind of. But I, but I kind got of. A, lot of, a lot of girls more than him. Okay, who's more sensitive? More sensitive? I think you. Oh no, Tom is so sensitive. Is he sensitive? <laughs> yeah. He's he been his time. Okay, and the last question, who is most likely to wind up in jail? Uh, I, think I think we we two together maybe. I think we do, we do everything together, so... Yeah, together. Yeah. Two pieces so. apart. Yeah. Together That's jail, an expensive yeah. bail right there. Anyway, we got so, a lot of questions outside, yeah. so we're going to go and take All one right. from Danielle. You guys ready? Your English is better than last time you guys came. Maybe not. Okay, we have a question right here from Danielle in the front. Holy smokes. Danielle, you have a wow. question? Hi. 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 We love you. And my question, my question is, who inspired you to go worldwide? Sorry, I didn't get it. Who inspired you to go worldwide? We, love you. we, we want, worldwide. we wanted to go worldwide. You know, it was always our dream to play concerts all over the world. And yeah, hopefully that answers the question. We're gonna be back with the guys after this. Right now, we're gonna check out Ready Set Go.
Yes, hanging out here with Tokyo Hotel. Right away, we're going to get to an audience question. Over here, we have uh, Katya and Roxy. They have a question for you guys. Okay, hi, I'm Roxy. I'm Kasia. Hi. And our hi. question is, um, how do you let a girl know that you like her? Can we have a hug? Oh, it's, it's hard. I think uh, um, maybe ignore. Or, ignore? Yeah, I think good way. I think some... Or, Eye contact, mm. or yeah. just yeah, just or just go, go to her and uh, let her know that I'm falling in love or whatever. I don't know. Can we have a hug also? Sick. Can we have a hug, please? A hug? Yeah. Can we have a hug? Of course, yeah. yeah. Why not? Come on. Oh, they want a hug each. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. One of the things I noticed, you guys both have really different styles. Um, you know, you look a little more urban influence, you look a little more rock influence. I was wondering if you guys have different influences. Yeah, I think Tom is more into yeah. all the hip hop stuff yeah. and he listens to German hip hop music. Hip -hop music. So, but, but it's, it's absolutely not my music. It's absolutely well, you not don't like my music. You, you, you don't like any hip hop? No hip hop? No, I, I don't listen to hip hop music. I hate hip hop music. For me, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just, He's, I, I, I listen to different kinds of music. It's, uh, I don't know, Coplay and Keen and Green Day and stuff. Okay. He's more inspired by, by a vampire or I don't know. A vampire, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got some hip hop artists for you. Who in Germany should uh, people be checking out in terms of hip hop? Um, you, know, you don't know any artists from, from Germany, I think. Who, though? Who should, we, who should I check out? Who should people check um, out? You know, uh, Sammy Deluxe or Dynamite Deluxe? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Great job. Well, it's always a pleasure having you guys here. Thanks a lot. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, gentlemen. Tokyo Hotel, keep it locked. There's a lot more to come.